So today Liam is crawling around YouTube looking at videos related to Trillance and I cannot find a single guy for Trillance official pirate cruise. So why aren't people making any? Well, it's quite simple. A Navy God already exists. And it covers almost everything about ship combat. But today I'll be going into what they do, how to join one, the perks of joining one, the rules of joining one, and maybe even how to get officialized. Now there are a total of 10 official pirate crews as of today. These crews Presketeers, Fandom's Vengeance, El Diablo, Rogue Raiders, Imperial Reunification Fleet, The Holy Jar, Imperial Marine Corps, Sinister Dragons, Unrisen Souls of Blackwind, and Los Ultimos Cazadores. So you have 10 choices to pick from. Each crew has their events hosted in different time zones. If you are available during Eastern Standard Time, I recommend joining the Musketeers, Imperial Reunification Sleep, the Holy Jar, Imperial Marine Corps, or Sinister Dragons. If you are available during Pacific Standard Time, I recommend joining the Rogue Raiders or Los Ultimos Cazadores. If you are available during Greenwich Mean Time, I recommend joining Unrisen Souls of Blackwind. If you are available during Central European Time, I recommend joining El Diablo. And if you are available during Hong Kong Time, I recommend joining Phantom's Vengeance. Now I can't really say how active each crew is because I've not been in all of them. Alright, now that you have picked one of the crews that may suit you, let's talk about how to join one. First of all, you need to have more than 25 Blackwind reputation points, and after that you're pretty much set to join a pirate crew. If you're already in an official pirate crew and your reputation goes under 25, then you'll be kicked until you reach the amount of reputation needed again. You also can only be in one official pirate crew at a time, and unlike navies, crews have the full right to decline you from joining. Alright, you know the rules on how to join an official pirate crew now. What if you would rather form your own crew? Well, first you must have over 75 Blackwind reputation points. Your group must have at least 15 active members who are verified in the official Trailands community. The link is in the description. The captain must own the group, the crew must have been active for 2 weeks, and all the members are required to be verified in the discord. If you would like to officialize your own crew, you must DM the DM me for help bot and invite epicmon999 to your discord, so you can take note of different requirements needed. There's also a leader for pirates called the pirate king or queen. In order to be one, you must be a captain of an official pirate crew and your crew must win the pirate king battle. This event is hosted by the mods and happens every time a coup happens. In order for a coup to happen, epicmon999 and the other crews must agree to the coup. It's usually to give some time for the pirate king to rule. It can also be hosted when the Pirate King dies in an official roleplay event or if the crew disbands. The perks of being the Pirate King are having the chance to participate in official roleplay events and the right to give permission to other crews as well. Now, for the perks of being an official crew, the most obvious one of all is you get your own flag displayed on your ships in the game whenever you join as Blackwind. Every crew member gets this, even members with the lowest rank. Second of all, you get to participate in Trailland's official events such as the Pirate King Battle, Brickland Royal Games, etc. Third of all, you get a 2.5% sync bonus whenever you sync a navy ship. While not exactly the best thing, it's still a thing you get. And last of all, crews can have their own rules, at least if the mods allow them. This gives crews much more freedom unlike navies, and if crews don't agree with the mods, they can just unofficialize themselves if they want. Alright! You know how to join a crew, how to form one, and the perks of being the pirate king or a captain of a crew. Now, for the different things you should know when you're in a crew. First of all, we have cannons. To fire a cannon, you need to have round shot in your inventory, or the ship must have round shot in stock. After that, all you need to do is sit on a cannon then press F or L to fire. There's also swivels. This type of cannon acts like a canister shot and will shoot multiple projectiles. If you get hit by this, you will lose a reasonable amount of health. This tends to get used when the enemies try to board the ship. Then there are ship locations. There's starboard which means right, port which means left, bow which means front, and stern which means back. There's cannon tilt. This is the way the ship rocks up and down and side to side, depending on the wind. If a crew tells you to fire full tilt, you pretty much wait for the cannon to rock to its highest tilt then fire. Firing low tilt means firing at the lowest possible tilt. There's disarming. You see, if you didn't know, whenever you fire a round shot at a cannon, if you hit the exact location it's supposed to hit, the cannon itself will get disarmed and pop off the ship. 
The cannon will no longer work after that happens. This also applies to players. Whenever you shoot a player, they will lose health and may even die within one shot. They also have a chance to lose a limb. If they lose their right arm, they won't be able to PvP or use any other items. There's below water line. This is the position below the water, and if you didn't know, firing round shot below the water line does more damage than shooting above the water line. So you can either try to disarm the cannons or fire below water line. And lastly, there's skirmishes. This is an event that happens whenever two groups agree to PvP each other with ship combat. This tends to happen when crews want to practice ship combat and coordination, and often has their own rules. Congratulations! You practically now know everything about official pirate crews and different things you need to know about them. I hope this guide was somewhat helpful to you and fun to watch. If you would like to see more content made by me, feel free to click subscribe and press the like button. See ya.